John Fishman, the drummer of Fish, is an expert at improvising polyrhythms during jams. This video contains my favorite examples of John Fishman playing polyrhythms. Feel free to skip my explanation and go directly to the examples. Fish has many songs in which the main drum beat is a polyrhythm, yet John Fishman often creatively improvises complex polyrhythms to elevate Fish's jams. The other band members often grab onto these additional rhythms with their own instruments. Other times, Trey or Mike start a new rhythm that Fishman replicates. Polyrhythms are common in jazz and like Afro-Cuban music, Latin music, and prog rock. Polyrhythms often require intensive practice and limb independence, dynamic control, and syncopation. A polyrhythm implies two different rhythms played concurrently. Polyrhythms sound complex because the listener's brain becomes confused as to which rhythm to follow. A polyrhythm is distinct from the concept of time signature. Often, Fishman builds a polyrhythm off a bass rhythm in 4-4 four, four, or 6-8. Essentially, accents are displaced in different spots in one rhythm against the other rhythm. It's common to layer a 2-3 or 3-2 pattern to create a polyrhythm. This creates the illusion of a complex time signature. Fishman will often implement implied metric modulation. This means that Fishman will imply a tempo change while still maintaining the same BPM by subdividing his ride cymbal or hi-hat patterns. He's still playing in 4-4, and there's no polyrhythm yet. Fishman then displaces the backbeat. He's still playing in 4-4 without a polyrhythm, but he's moving the backbeat to different spots. This allows Fishman to explore the depth of rhythms in the groove. Eventually, Fishman settles into a full polyrhythm by layering a different rhythm with his hi-hat, while still maintaining another backbeat within the bass rhythm of 4-4. He also explores a new rhythm on the ride cymbal.
six days in the cold without.